Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. It's not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people who like ayahuasca, people who like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. Listener's discretion is advised. Going down the rabbit hole, not up your asshole. So if you're a sensitive, stick in the mud. If you're an EDB, an NPC, just don't watch my videos. I didn't ask you. Um, this is therapeutic to me. I'm only gravitating towards a small few elite out there who understand that I'm old school. I don't I don't fit in with the millennials. I'm not emotional. Okay, so just wipe that out. All right? Yeah, that's a mattress. That's a mattress on the wall there. People be looking at my background and shit. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. no, you nosy motherfucker, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Smack the taste out of your mouth. But anyway, let's talk about something here. Um, this video is going to be about uh, Catch-22 with attractive people. I try to tell women all the time that just because of a, a guy that looks attractive, you know, there's always a Catch-22 with something. You date a guy who looks above your pay grade, okay? Without makeup, because I tell women all the time, you know you're ugly if you wear makeup, right? You know you're ugly compared to that that guy who, who you think is 8, 9, or 10, right? You know that 8, 9, or 10, he's not really all that into you, right? That's the same conundrum that guys go through when they try to talk to guys, girls themselves and vice versa. You know, when you see a girl that's not your pay grade or your number, you're wasting your time. And 9 times out of 10, um, a lot of times if you look like a geek and you approach a geek, the female geek... It's going to be the bigger narcissist because she knows her more her value has more uh, value than your cock, okay, right? So when you date that highly attractive guy, this is a message for women, as a matter of fact. It goes for men too, you know, as a matter of fact. You know, you dated a, a woman who's out of your league. You heard about that before. I'm sure you have. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your goddamn time. See, you know, you heard about the thing where how guy, girls like bad boys, they don't really deal with psychopaths because that's the best. Like like Charles Manson, you know, there's always a catch-22 with something. When you deal with those type of caliber type of individuals, these females are putting their all, okay, on trying to have a baby by this dude or try to trap him because they don't understand that that could be a psychopath. They like the thrill of danger. Women are on the higher thrill of danger, just as white people are. What women in general, white women especially, and white men are the highest on the pinnacle when it comes down to thrill, thrill of danger. Yeah, I, I know that's a fact. Okay, so I'm like, um, I try to tell people, uh, uh, white women are much more dangerous than black women. Okay, when especially when it comes down to that mask, wearing the mask. Okay, because we already know that white women are more on welfare than black women. Okay, overall. Um, but there's always a catch-22. The whole purpose of this video is that whatever you're gravitating to, there's a catch-22. Like, I tell women overseas all the time. The catch-22 is that I'm an alpha male, so I'm going to be telling you what you should be doing to make sure I'm happy, right? They know they have to sacrifice shit like their religion or their family morals or their traditions. They know they're going to ask the catch-22. When you're with people, you have to make a reasonable trade, you have to make reasonable trades so you won't run into a problem, okay? Because if you don't make yourself, you know, up front at first, because most people are beta. They don't talk up front. They don't tell you, this is my history and this is my past. And this is how it should go to last. They don't talk like that. Most people don't tell you up front who they are, their past and their present and what they are. They hide things. Most of the time, they, they're looking for uh, validation. They're looking for taking sacrifices in a person. They always do that. Most I say them. I say most people. That's why I say most people are incompatible. But the catch-22 is, is that since somebody's hiding more than the other, right, why not basically just be honest, okay? You know, most people are not honest when it comes to relationships. They are not ready for relationships. I know this because I used to be a personal care aide with a couple of doctors. I used to wash their ass and their gray uh, haggly balls, gray scraggly balls. I've talked to lots of white folks. They tell me how it's supposed to be because they're part of the patriarch and some of them are racist. Okay, but 
and they had no choice. I had the, a black slave is washing the white man's balls, but I got paid for that shit though. You know, it's not it's not a problem for me though. I just hear some crazy stories sometimes, and um, I try to get on their good side to understand their psychology, but then I understand the catch twenty two with everything. When you whenever you're doing something, always think, always have in the back of your mind, this person does not like you. If you do that. And you just have this notion that trust no one. You'll be better off. You can't be trusting people. Just do trade. Pussy and dick is the equivalence. The equivalent when you receive and give, okay? But beta males make pussies to have value, okay? Right? But you see the diamond when you when a, when people when the white man goes over in their country, the diamond ain't worth shit. But they mark up the price because they have enough power to mark up the price to make the di diamond worthy of of sell higher sell price. They haggle people because people are brainwashed. There's a catch-22 with everything, okay? So I go over there and find some ruples or some some um, emeralds or something, and then I mark it up. It's, it, it takes much more than just one man to say, I'm going to mark up the price for emerald to this amount, Okay. But please understand this here, okay? When you have children, there's a catch-22. When you go outside the door, there's a... You see how that mentality is? It's like no matter what you do in this reality and in this world, there's a catch-22. It is said that we all are gods. And you came here for a new challenge, a new beginning. Because the other side is so perfect and so boring. And you... It's just so repetitive, okay, you know. But no matter what we do on the other side, we were happy on the other side, but we need something different. And this is why we put ourselves in these avatars. Some people can't handle it. It's too stressful, so they don't understand what this life is about. It's a game. When you're in prison, because I was in jail before, and I spun like about 15 days in jail because of something I didn't do, I realized that, wait a minute, how the hell am I in a prison Within a prison. You see how that works? But the great thing is that we don't live that long. Okay. Because the powers that may be. Okay. Said there's too much suffering in this world. And I feel this pain. Because I'm an empath. That's why I don't like being here. I, I can feel everything a person talks to me. I can see. I can feel the negative sadness and sorrow of a person. And that's the catch 22. About coming into this motherfucking world. Right. Yeah, but I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. You better listen to daddy when daddy talking to you. You hear me, girl boy? You hear me? But um, other than that, I'm okay. That's what I wanted to talk about. The catch-22 with just attractive people in general. You know, when you deal with an attractive person, you know stats show they have higher STDs. You, we already know this. So why even bother? Okay. Why? Why would you take the time to put in all that time into a person who's just because that person's attractive? That's dumb. But 80% of people love to do shit like that. And then when they get caught up in the shit, you know, they get herpes or uncurable STDs or a urinary tract infection, then, oh, I learned my lesson. Don't waste your time. I'm not, hey, I'm perfect. I don't do nothing. I don't go outside. I don't do nothing. I got daughters and I'm still perfect. I don't have sins. I learned... By trial and error. There are people in this world who don't have sins. But people get mis the sins misconstrued with something else. They think a sin is a mistake or something. They think a sin is like you just, you do one thing and you make a mistake. And then you sin. Okay? You know, but they don't, the true definition of sin is not these bodies. Okay, we're not born in sin. You know, that philosophy is garbage to me. I don't believe in that. I believe what a true sin is, is that when you do something wicked and unnoble and you repeatedly do this, okay, and then for some reason in your head, you don't think about the possibility of karma. That's, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do wicked things. But anyway, you know, good people can constantly do good things and then something bad happens to them, like Jesus Christ and Elijah Muhammad. Okay, but that's what this world is about unpredictability a catch 22 i'm out of here guys i hope you got a message to my madness i love you all but i hate the many of you love animals more than humans but i don't fuck the animals use common sense dude peace
Peace.